begin with breaking news on the education beat. A Florida judge putting reopening decisions in the hands of local school boards. The judge ruling in favor of the Florida Education Association in a lawsuit trying to stop the state's executive order. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jamison Euler, anchoring the news from home tonight. And I'm Wendy Ryan. Thank you for joining us. It required districts to offer an in-person option. ABC Action News reporter Haley Bull is learning more about the ruling and what it means for students and teachers. Haley? Well, right after the ruling, advocates for the lawsuit called it a relief. Tonight, the Florida Education Commissioner is saying they're, quote, 100% confident they'll win the lawsuit. The Florida Education Association is calling the rule a win about public schools that gives power to the local school boards. And the ruling, the judge says it allows boards to make safety determinations for reopening without financial penalty and says the state's order is unconstitutional. Here in Hillsborough County, the board tried to move to online learning for the first four weeks of school before the state denied it. The superintendent said the state made clear a plan outside the executive order would have had a negative financial impact, potentially more than $200 million. Most districts have already opened. The FEA says they're asking districts to ensure safety first utilize those public health officials uh, comments, utilize the insight of uh, those uh, folks who, who initially gave them the advice uh, to have that four week uh, a, a period within that. And so we're going to ask them to to and urge them to revisit their plan. Now, Hillsborough County Superintendent says at this time they're slated to open the in-person option August 31st to provide parents a choice. A district spokesperson says they're reviewing the order and monitoring its progress. Pinellas County tells us they don't have a comment right now. We're checking in with each school district in the area and we'll update you on any changes and reaction. Reporting live in Tampa, Haley Bull, ABC Action News.